the womanhood in me, the motherhood in me. Oh, shame. Immediately, the case of Sati Arewa took me to likes of Baba Jesha. And you know me. It took me to Baba Jesha straight. Because I listened to the crying ex. Not crying, the pained ex. And you know our society, it's a shame. Oh, sad gone. This has been ongoing. At least we can just point to our mothers. And it is ongoing amongst illiterates. Also, amongst stark illiterates. You know, in the house of land, many of them are not educated. So, you will find a lot of pedophiles there. They are attributed to Islamic, really, Sharia law. Where, from before a child is even six months, they would have uh, betrothed that child to one mala, an elderly man. And maybe when the child is now eight or thirteen or so, the elderly man who would have had kids even as old as that child, start to have sex with such people. By the time they are. 16, you will hear they've, they've started giving birth at a very tender age. It is not a good law. It is child abuse. It is what? Child abuse. And a lot of people in that have this mentality... Yeah, you can tell that many of them lack education. Then let's move to our own side, Yoruba, or maybe Igbos. During Baba Jesha's case, many women, if you remember, I even I've seen one or two of them on board right now, typing. I have seen them. One of them, I wouldn't mention her name, but a lot of you know her. She's one of the owners of the courtroom. Her uncle went to jail in United Kingdom due to the same thing Sati Arewa's wife, ex-wife, accused him of. And she says in her voice note, I have all evidences. If you think, if you say I'm lying, just contest, con just disagree with it. And I bring out all evidences. Remember that same woman, this lady that I said that the uncle went to jail. Do you know how many people told her that? In fact, families hated her because they said she will be the, she, if her uncle goes to jail, she has broken, she has destroyed the family. Meanwhile, the uncle was sleeping with her, having sex with her, before the uncle, this uncle, from the mother's side, the father's side, they were the ones having sex with her. She's on board. I've seen her types. They did that, did that, did that, because the parents were separated. Eventually, she went to mom, grab mommy's side. Mommy was always busy. Eventually, uncle that came from London wanted to take her abroad. Uncle too started sleeping with her. When uncle, she couldn't tell the mom because the mother's eyes is on, not on ground. In fact, the uncle from the father's side, she told the dad. The daddy said, eh, you know, just at least it's a it's a bro me he didn't he didn't raise a single eh kinikati bo 
This girl felt dead. She's on board. Another one that I've seen the two of them, but the one that the 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 culprits went to jail for it, like Baba Jesha. And obviously that doctor will be going to jail. He will. That slept with the niece. With um uh, yet yeah, with the with the wife's niece, Dr. Femi and Bode Thomas. Now the guy, the man was sleeping with her, having sex with her. She couldn't tell the mother because the mother would definitely say, Ah, yeah, oh, 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 you understand? They, you will talk down, you will make a victim. Feel so ugly to an extent, the person will now be the one looked upon as a criminal because i i see a lot of people going against the wife and even those of us that are saying the truth there's this well you know we have to use layman's english because majority of the people going against the people that are saying the truth about this matter they are illiterate and some are just, that are abroad among them, are just privileged to come abroad. So, what you roll around me? They didn't believe that they would ever come abroad. They are the type of people back home in Nigeria, when they rape their children, they will tell their children to cover it. Ah, they don't know that you have killed that child alive. You have destroyed that child. You have made her ugly. This particular lady, she's on board. She's on board. When she got to London, the man continued, after having sex with her, continued having sex with her in London under the watch of his wife but the wife did not know the first time she got pregnant when she got pregnant he told the he told her a young girl that if my wife if i see this woman again i go being her lori book <laughs> bella how are you sweetie you know the first time she got pregnant and she told the man, eventually, the wife to this man got to know, in London, in London. The man then threatened her, don't tell my wife that I'm the one. She had to lie. That is saying, you know, a young girl. The, ma the wife is not related to how the wife now scolded her. The wife scolded her and said, ah, How loose can you be? They went to abort that pregnancy. You know, in United Kingdom, good thing. No, I'm not saying it's good, but at least they do abortion in United Kingdom. It just last two years is when they approved abortion in this country. If it's in, in this country, she go born for her uncle. Except she's able to voice out. Maybe. And I doubt very much. She has to go out of this country to go and do abortion. They did abortion for that girl. Then again, the man also started sleeping. Unknown to her. His children took this lady as a rival. Because when she came in, they knew that their father was sleeping with her. Then she too discovered that their father was sleeping with them. Pedophile is pedophile. Pedophile is pedophile. Many Nigerian men have it. They think it is normal, but it's not normal. It needs to be addressed. The women that take it and bully women 
that cry out. They are illiterates. They are women that think having a man is a privilege. You know, women, such women, women that are supporting Sati, you will know they have low self-esteem. You are a woman that is a woman. A true Abiyamo. Like princess. Like, what's her name? Just at the tongue. Those people that fought against Baba, Baba Jessa. You can never see them because they know the pains of a man sleeping with a minor. Many women have gone through it. In fact, my age mate, statistically, 60-something percent to 70-something percent went through it. Uncles disverging them. In fact, don't be surprised, many of these people even talking down on the wife have experienced it. But they don't care because anyways, they feel worthless. And many of the men taking side with Sati, they are pedophiles. Go and check their record. They must have done it to other people. If not, their daughters. Now, I got that information. When this woman, this particular lady, whom is on, she's on board. When this particular lady, they, they say having, the, the, womb, the man's kids, they're competing as in they, they turned out to rival. It was like, it was not like that too. Meanwhile, the, their mother, the woman, innocent, not aware, clueless. Until she could no more take it. Finally, she needed to confess to the wife. She could no more take it. I can't remember if she got pregnant again the second time. I can't remember. She could no more take it. Now she had self feeling extremely ugly. Because, you know, she was looked upon like the bad person. She didn't feel good about herself. She didn't feel good about herself. She couldn't see herself even beautiful. She felt useless and dirty. But she had only one hope. And that hope is the wife to her uncle. She said she summoned up courage. I've played the voice notes here before. I still have those voice notes. She summoned up courage. I see her typing. She summoned up courage and told the wife of her husband, uh, uncle. Huh? And that was it. The man went to jail for hurting a young girl. You know, if it's in Nigeria and some women, you will hear, hey, the person that brought you to London. And so, ah, you have to be covering up your husband. Are you, are you for real? Are you people okay? Are you people okay? Why are you silencing people? Why are you destroying lives? Why are you people killing people? A lot of women, they are in depression due to stuff like this. Look at the girl, Mr. Defemi, the niece to his wife that he's been sleeping with from the age of 15. For some reason, they said if we see the girl, she's, she's, she doesn't even, she's just, she just dresses like a boy. She doesn't find men attractive. She doesn't have boyfriend. A woman that supports such a thing. It is sad. Forget religion. When I heard that voice note, 
My concern was majorly. No. There is no reason why an ex eh, will want to lie on man we don't go. I beg my people. Since this thing has been ongoing, if Sati Arewa is innocent of all this allegation, is he not supposed to sue the wife for defamation of character? Do you know the magnitude of this offense? Do you know the magnitude of this offense? How Kelly did the same, not with his family, oh, because in this particular one, if what the wife had said about Sati Arewa is true, because a time we come, we are going to contact Princess, because that is the cause she stands for. Ketensho, we are going to contact her. If he, he, the, he, she lied on him, mind you, it's three different people that that woman gave allegation regarding. A young girl, I don't want to be playing the voice known. A young girl who is his family, Monsura or whatever. That's the one she said. The mother, her own mother, caught him sleeping with that girl on the couch while she was sleeping. And he's always doing that. He rented the house for Monsura. Where they rented the house for her, he goes there to be sleeping with her and brought her into the house and was still sleeping with her. That is one. As, as a small girl, the family they call that thing in the bible in those sodom and gomorrah they i think incest or something like that it's a curse along shake before want to shake and you know if you sleep with such people teba be more because you are blood related incest or something like that the second one is the wife ex-wife's relative gogo her niece he didn't have sex with that one but told that one i can just be kissing you i can only, i can only kiss you and suck your breast but i can't have sex with you that is the one that baba jesha is in jail for they call it sexual assault because you know he was giving it was six counts the penetration aspect of it he was found not guilty ask me why there's no there's no evidence but the leaking of hand the all four other counts sexual assault sexual he went is in jail for it concurrently five years if you look at it different this thing they gave him concurrently so altogether five years i suppose to the way it was written some people thought it was 12 or 13 years no if it was consecutively that means it would serve different terms at different jail term at different but this one was concurrently correct me um Your teeth look like our Indian gay fix it first. Uh, sati yam limbu ori edi okwe. If teeth look like Indian gate, but orotimo so osha make sense. Do you understand? Calm down and listen. Koba ja Indian gate, koba ma ja Indian gate. Orotimo so ni kofi eti esi. If you are Yoruba or English, anyone, listen. Now, Baba Jesha. Is in jail for that. Do you understand? Concurrently, yes. So, they couldn't get any evidence to prove that Baba Jesha was actually the one that defiled the girl. There was no evidence. You know, it's statutory rape. Because, you know, some people, you need to educate them. You know, majority of these people are stuck illiterate. When Baba Jesha, 
your me fabi you was shouting up and down all the speakers that were supporting baba jesha he, baba jesha is in jail now please are they there with him because they were talking they were talking senselessly they were talking they don't understand the law did you do it or not if you did it that is the bone of contention now we have to stay on that he needs to go to the police station and say my wife has or is defaming my character this accusation then the third one is a newborn baby i mean a little child that they said the auntie sorry before i go to that extent the third one you know she said three children three that he must he molested the third one is the little child they said he took that child from his auntie as as a young girl and the little child was living with him then he started having sex with the child it was discovered and when it was discovered the auntie cursed him and said he will be the one to disvirgin his children because definitely she was pained how will somebody lie about such a thing and i i see women castigating the ex-wife the only blame i can have on the ex-wife is you all saw these things years ago and you all kept quiet why you all are aiders and abettors then 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 when they he wanted to apologize they said he said if he fed you he loved the child too much that's why he was not sleeping with the child if he fed you you feel the buruku woni i skumba my question that's you know those are three kids or three minors on the age that was the ugly part that hurts me. Tori, Obirini me, Abiamoni me, and I've dealt with cases like that on board. And I see that many people, they need justice for all these men that are pedophiles. Ah, Kelly, Oshie, and one Loma, Loma Kusi, because other cases to the rise, they gave him 20 years. If it all one you know on the case, oh low what get in here, who knows satire that some people say they want to bring his glory down. And yeah, I know ya. And you know what you da and bawi.